general store. B class rolling out. Steve Moore will uh, bring him out, car number 67, driver out of Springfield, Missouri. On his outside, it'll be the 57 of Austin Dixon. Dustin Kenyon out of Bradleyville, Missouri, and on his outside in car number six, it'll be Will Hibden. Riley Duncan out of Lockwood, Missouri, car number 11 on the inside of road number three, and on his outside, it'll be Rick Lampy, car number 17 out of Fairgrove, Missouri. On the inside of road number four, it'll be Ken Walker in the Transport Graphics 51 on his outside, the Pro Tire 26 at Jonathan Dean. Uh, 28 of Corey Carter out of Elkland, Missouri. And the five of Zach Williams, driver out of Urbana, Missouri. Dylan Sanderson, car number 21, Jaron Martin in the 33. And I believe that'll be Gage Garot in the 75, the car at the back of the pack there. All right, the one to go signal given to the field as they come across the start finish line, it'll be 15 laps. Dusty Sanderson in car number four. That's the white car there towards the back. All right, not quite ready to go yet. Going to try it one more time. Almost ready for the start here. All right, Steve Moore, alongside Austin Dixon. They'll be coming into the start finish line looking for green. Should get the one to go this time by. Alrighty now, as they come across start finish line, they will get the one to go signal. And that'll mean go time next time. All right, two by two, field will get the green this time by. It'll be a 15 lap shootout. Got some pretty good cars back in the field. Will Hibden already in victory lane once. He'll start on the outside of road number two. Rick Lamp, he looks strong early. Keep your eye on Riley Duncan. All right, here we go off turn number four. Coming down to the start finish line, we're going green. Dustin Kenyon seeing an early opening. He'll go to the top of the leaderboard is now Steve Moore fights to the top side. Coming off turn number four, down to the start finish line. Steve Moore leads lap number one. Track a little bit greasy out there. Everybody doing a nice job, taking it nice and smooth as they go down the back stretch. Riley Duncan on the charge. He'll work up on the top side, try to get around that Kenyon machine. He's got a good bead to come off cross turn number four. He's up into the number two spot. Rick Lampy up into the number four spot. 
As the battle for the lead is going to heat up here in a hurry, Steve Moore pushing up through the corner, and that opens the door for Riley Duncan. Riley Duncan doing a nice job not to run into the back of the 67, and Riley Duncan to the top of the leaderboard. And caution coming out. Caution coming out as the five of Zach Williams going around. Well, Riley Duncan taking advantage of that early start. He's got that 11 car out in front. We'll see how they restart him here as we do go back to the last completed lap. All right, Williams gonna get that five car turned the right direction. And looks like 21 car of Dylan Sanderson off the racetrack. Problems for the 21. All right, gonna get the field lined up here. We'll be ready to go. Once again, wanna remind everybody, July 13th, July 13th, we We'll have the Indigo Sky Casino $1,000 money drop. Be sure and be here for that. Not only will we have a great night of racing with the Malvern Bank Cash Money Late Model Series, but we will also have a big money giveaway. And once again, want to remind everybody, 18 and older, 18 and younger that is, 18 and younger, your entry into the Springfield Raceway absolutely free every Saturday night, and that is a huge deal. Allows families to come together, also might allow some young people to come out and enjoy for the first time racing action. So be sure and tell all your friends and family, if they are 18 or younger, they can come to the Springfield Raceway, enjoy a great night of entertainment, and the price is right. All right, green flag is rolled up, and here we go, we're green this time. Off turn number two down the back stretch. On the restart, it's Riley Duncan out in front. Rick Lampy trying to chase down Steve Moore. That's the battle for the number two spot. Both those cars using the bottom of the speedway. Ken Walker running up in the number four spot as now Rick Lampy dives down to the bottom of the racetrack over in turns one and two. Side by side down the back stretch for the number two spot. Side by side for the number four spot. Here comes Jonathan Dean looking down to the inside of Ken Walker. Rick Lampy now up into the number two spot as we got a caution over in turn number four. Caution coming out, a couple of cars getting together over in turn number four, put us under the yellow flag again. Jaron Martin, one of the cars involved over there, he, as we mentioned, has those three feature wins already, but tonight, struggling a bit. Austin Dixon involved, looks like he's got the 57 car rolling. And looks like maybe okay to refire. Little damage on the left rear of that car. <laughs> 75 car still stopped over in turn number four. That's Gage Garreau out of Joplin, Missouri. He may need a little push over there. All right, 
Looks like 75 is going to go, and so we'll get ready for the restart. Riley Duncan out in front. He's got a good car tonight. He's got the track position, but he's also got a hard charger right in his back pocket. That's Rick Lampy, driver out of Fairgrove, Missouri. So it's going to be interesting. See if he can stay out front. Driver out of Lockwood, Missouri, Riley Duncan. Steve Moore hanging on to the number three spot for right now. Right behind him, it's Jonathan Dean in car number 26. Kenny Walker in car number 51. Corey Carter out of Elkland, Missouri in car number 28. All right, here we go off turn number four. I believe they did drop the green. Green foul. No, we're not going to get a restart. Kind of wondered about that. All right, we'll try one more time. You need a single file restart. Jonathan Dean having a nice night so far, right up there in the mix. Right now runs in the fourth spot. Ken Walker rounding out your top five. Hibden did not get a good start to this race. Dropped back in a hurry and so far not able to regain that track position. We'll see if he can get her going here. Off turn number four, we're back under the green flag with Riley Duncan out in front. Rick Lampy taking a look down at the bottom of the speedway. Nothing there. Falls back in line. Heading off into turns three and four. The five car really struggling over there in turn number two. And caution's going to come out again for the five. Well... I would say there was a full moon out, but so far the moon's not up yet. And the five car looks to be broke over there as that car will not turn. Did not see the incident down there with the 33. Uh, I believe the 20 might have invo been involved in that as well. Jaron Martin and the 20 of Dustin Kenyon. Didn't see all that unfold, so not sure what's going on. Tough break for the five of uh, Zach Williams. Obviously, some mechanical issues with that five car. Went down in the corner and the just car would not turn. And keeping an eye on Jaron Martin, seeing if they're gonna refire that 33 car or see if his night is over. The Missouri Coalition for Roadway Safety reminds you to drive safe, slow down, don't drink and drive. Missouri Coalition for Roadway Safety wants you to arrive alive and the Springfield Raceway wants you to arrive alive as well. All right, getting the Jaron Martin car back to the infield for now. Tough break for Jaron Martin looking for win number four. And looks like his night is over. Not sure what's going on there. Well, Riley Duncan has led them all so far. That car looks strong out front. Rick Lampy, though, don't count him out. He's been diving down to the bottom of the racetrack, trying to find racing room around the leader. You gotta try to pass them where they ain't, and right now, that's what he's doing. So far, not able to do that. We'll see if we can get some green flag laps in here and see how that might change the complexion of this race so far. Just short runs in this Midwest Modified B group.
All right, they'll get the green next time by. Keith Pratt has that flag rolled up in hand. And when that flag rolled up, he means business. That means we're going green next time by with Riley Duncan out in front of this field. Duncan bringing him in nice and slow. Off turn number four, green in the air. Top four run that bottom line around turns one and two. Ken Walker using that upper line. Austin Dixon off the racetrack over in turn number two. Problems for the 57 car. Meanwhile, we stay green out on the racetrack. And Riley Duncan hooking up and trying to get away from this field as we got a great battle going on for third, fourth, and fifth. Jonathan Dean has this spot for now, but he's got Ken Walker on his back bumper. Steve Moore still trying to battle for that race position as well. Down the backstretch, Riley Duncan on a Saturday evening drive out in front, pulling away, give him 10 car lengths. Ken Walker looking down on the inside of the Jonathan Dean machine. That is the battle for the number three spot. Best battle on the racetrack. 28 of Corey Carter now trying to get around Steve Moore. They'll also battle side by side. But it's all Riley Duncan out in front. Corey Carter now into turn number three below the 67 of Steve Moore. They'll still go door to door down the front stretch. As we begin to put some green flag laps together, Riley Duncan pulling away from this field. Driver out of Lockwood, Missouri, having a good night. Out in front in car number 11. Laps clicking away very quickly. As he's got that lead opened up now. Almost a full straightaway for Riley Duncan. Ken Walker, Jonathan Dean still going side by side. And just as I say that, problems for Ken Walker, and he starts dropping back as the white flag is out for Riley Duncan. Problems for Ken Walker, tough break after having a strong run all night. Looks like right rear down on the 51. Coming off turn number four, it's gonna be Riley Duncan, your winner. Rick Lampy second, the battle for third, off turn number four. How about a run for the 28? of Corey Carter and Dustin Kenyon finishing up in the fourth spot. So Riley Duncan, driver out of Lockwood, Missouri, I believe this will be feature win number one for this young man. Nice run right there. All right, it's gonna be the reliable Chevrolet V-Modifieds rolling out onto the racetrack, getting ready for their A main event.